So we are at the bar, Salomon's Pizza and Pasta. Polly has had nothing to eat today and a couple of drinks. And she's a super lightweight. I had one drink. She had one drink. It was a huckleberry cider. And now she's on her face. She's trying to have water before food comes to the table. <laughs> but she just threw ice at me, which hit me in the head. <laughs> and it's pretty funny. Pretty you know, funny. We missed it. We missed it. Yeah. I can set this up. Yeah. No, don't try it again. Yeah. I can't get us both in the picture. Sorry, I said. She missed. She missed. Put it on the salt and pepper. It's not salt and pepper. I don't think we're going to get it. Here I am. Would you stop throwing ice at me? Oh, that one ended up on the floor. <laughs> okay, look, you can't even see us. Hello. So we're trying, we're trying to be good and do carnivore. I love steak. But it's hard. I don't know why it's so hard. <laughs> like carbs, sugar. Yeah, the car I just like the beer. I, don't know. I had a rough day. I watched a million little things. Finale season, and I was the, not season finale, but um, series finale. So final, final. Series? Final, final. That was it. The last episode ever. Don't tell them what happened. I can't spoiler alert. It was. It was very sad. It was very emotional. Don't cry. I told you not to think about this. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Anyways, so. Always having some sex on the beach again. She, she found that. This her is new, not good. Though. That's her new favorite. I need to go back to the twisted. Well, that's a long drive. Don't, don't, don't get the sex on the beach at this place. Where's Salomon's Pizza in Tacoma? We're trying it for the first time. It's supposed to be New York style pizza. Oh, We're gonna have a side Caesar. I'm having pasta. She's having the pasta. What was it? I don't know. Shona. Carbonara with mushrooms. Carbonara with mushrooms. Add mushrooms. Yep. She's having sex on the beach. I got a fear. Yeah. We're hanging out. And keep going. In the rain. It's raining outside. We had 70 some degrees yesterday. And today it's raining. Now it's in the 50s. But today's our granddaughter's birthday, so that's a good day. And she's throwing ice at my, my head. That's always fun. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> um, here, take that. <laughs> You're bald, it's okay. I'm bald. It's okay, it's okay to hit me with ice. Because I'm bald. <laughs> yeah, stop it. Ah, <laughs> cool, bro. Uh, yeah. Ice, ice, baby. <laughs> Smart, Alec, baby. <laughs> hey, you even tried on the money hat today. <laughs> That's a thrift store, the money hat. I tried like, on the money hat. Ice, ice, baby. It has a money sign oh, on it. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. I put on a, a baseball cap that has a money sign. I was I making said, a joke. We should have did that. Vanilla ice. Vanilla ice? Vanilla ice. Ice, stop. Ice, baby. Collaborate and listen. Ice is back with a brand new invention. Something. Cubs are holding you tightly. Pull like a harpoon. Daily and nightly. Will it ever stop? Yo. I hope so. Then it did. <laughs> <laughs> We got the pasta carbonara. Oh, he's spilling a mess. He took away all my sauce. Just sauce it up. That reminds me. I just watched Adam and Ruth. Sauce it up. Yummy.
just watch. You know what would be good on this? I'm just gonna say green onion. Well, there's like parsley. That's just parsley. That's parsley. I just watched the Adam the Woo video where him and Tim Tracker were trying the new Jolly Bee. And Tim Tracker picks up his spaghetti, right? And holds it sideways. He's like, look, you know it's good if I can hold it sideways and it doesn't fall. And then drop it landed on the table. And Adam lost his shit. He was laughing so hard. I was laughing so hard with him too. And that's not even the funny, the funny part. Later on, later on in the video, Adam picks up his mac and cheese, and he's like, "Look, you know my mac and cheese because I can hold it sideways and it doesn't fall." And then the damn thing falls, <laughs> but it all stays together. And he's like, "It's like a hockey puck," <laughs> and he eats it. He's like, "This is the best mac and cheese I've ever eaten in my life." <laughs> that's a cover. So. That shit was hilarious. Man, I was cracking up laughing. I've been watching them on my long drives. Oh, you shouldn't be watching them on your long drives. That's no, 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 there's nothing else to do. They keep me awake anyways. But Don't dude, be that was have the so funny. Only listen. So hilarious because he's eating this mac and cheese hockey bite. <laughs> bite, bite, bite. He's like, this is the best mac and cheese I've ever had. All right, well, let's see if my pasta's is good. Yep, is the pasta good? Add some, some pepper to it. It's got this oh. like special name of something, I don't know what it is, but it's some kind of like ham. It's prosciutto. Ham. It's prosciutto. I don't know. It's some prosciutto. Anyway, it's really fat. Come on, it's really fat. Mm -hmm. oh, we got a salad. Yeah, I didn't see that on my sorry, so that's why I didn't come out first. Whoa. Yeah, look at look that, that baby. Oh, yeah. Okay, can I grab right. oh, your bottle? Yeah, Parmesan and. Okay. Alright, look at this. Got a salad. No, look at this pizza oh, pie. Look at this pizza. We're definitely on carnivore tonight. That thing's huge. It's bigger than our heads. Bigger than our heads. Alright. I just knocked it down. Thank you. you. Alright, so pasta. You try my pasta first. Don't you be touching that pizza without me trying my pasta first. <laughs> well, this way, like the world of Micah, he like dug into his meat, spaghetti and meatballs. That's good. It's a little salty. Yeah, it's nice. Look at this. Uh, it's a little salty. It's called the Hell's Kitchen. It's got pepperoni and jalapeno and pepperoni. All he's excited about. Pepperoni. Not a fan, but maybe on pizza. I've never had them on pizza. I don't like them fresh. Way. I do like all of I like a lot of uh, extra Parmesan cheese. A little red pepper flake. Ooh, that's a lot of red pepper flake. It's all good. Alright, there we go. Pull it out. Let me uh, bring this out here. Okay, I'm down, Grimes. Oh. Oh, Alright. There we go. The trash. No. The Hell's Kitchen. Pepperoni, jalapeno, pepper cheese. Mm -hmm. A big old mouth. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. My pasta is good. Definitely a good pie. I added mushrooms to my pasta though. Otherwise, it's just normally like a white sauce and and the ham. But I added mushrooms. Next time I think I'm gonna add. Well, and it has onions in it too. Onions and the ham. But. Oh, you got one. I got a fork. Alright, let's try the Caesar salad. Now, Caesar salad is one of those things that either works or it doesn't. Oh, what do you think? You doing it okay? Mm-hmm. Yep. So, Yep. 
It could use some more Parmesan cheese in it. But, I mean, that's good. It's got that nice anchovy taste to it. I think that's the Parmesan they added to begin with. Yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. Woohoo! Alright, All right. get the lemon? No, I didn't get the lemon. Lemon juice in here. Oh, All this food you shouldn't eat. But, we're living it up. She's not our diet. Not our diet, but a bite size. Try again tomorrow? We'll try again tomorrow. Oh my god. I'm doing my best. Because Terry's going to want to cook for me. What did you have last time I did it? How's everything for you? Oh, it's good. Um, you know, it's oh! He went to a teriyaki place and bought the teriyaki chicken. They didn't really? even make me. Wow. But, to be fair, he was gone. And I told him. He's never bought me. Oh, man. Golly. I told Julia that I had to get something to eat. And so I would stop somewhere and grab something to eat and then head over to her. Right. But she said, no, come here, Terry will feed you. I said, are you sure I don't want to put that on him, you know? No, he will. And then he brought home Terry <laughs> We have some family friends that we work for. Freelance kind of style. And Terry likes to cook. He always wants to cook his food. Even if we're like trying to avoid certain foods, he don't care. He just cooks whatever. So. We Which don't is be wonderful because he is a very good chef. Oh, he's really good. He's yummy. We don't want to be rude. But at the same time, you know, we're trying to stick to a strict diet. Lifestyle. Most of the time. <laughs> yeah, I can't even remember the last time I had pasta. A long time. I mean, we don't even eat salad. From like just uh, meat, eggs, and butter. Bacon. <laughs> bacon. Well, bacon is meat. Huh? There's, a, there's like no burger cream on this one. Yeah, but, you know, you can try it the right way. That's how it's right. Right? And, you know, New York pizza, you gotta put sideways. You, you know, in, you don't in like half. It's like cream, you don't like burger cream. That's not true. But sometimes, like one thing wrong and not cooked. And sometimes you like it cooked, but you don't like it raw. I've only ever had it raw. I don't think it's cooked, though. It's still delicious. Either way. To me, at least. It's pretty good. Crust is good. There's too many jalapenos on this one. But. It's got a perfect amount of sauce, perfect amount of cheese, not too much, it's still gooey enough to feel like you got lots of cheese on it. Yeah, I mean it's weird stuff, it's a right? So it's definitely... Big slices of pepperoni. 
Big Brooklyn style pizza. And the crust is good. I am very, very picky when it comes to my crust. Some places I don't like it at all, won't eat the pizza. Other places I like certain ones only. Like we go to another place and I only like the beer crust. But we've got good crust. It's really good. Yeah. I mean, pizza differs so different from place to place. Maybe you like Domino's or you like Pizza Hut. And you've never had wood fired pizza. Or you never went out to some mom and pop local place. You know? If that's the case, I encourage you to go out and try it something that's not commercialized because there's so much difference in the pizza but I mean, even between those two you can tell the difference between Domino's and Pizza Hut you know one's greasier one's not so greasy one has a thicker crust one has a, a thinner crust um, one has more of a, a garlic buttery taste and the other one doesn't so it's the same thing at even regular pizza places you know, each one has a different thing. Yep. And it's really shocking. I really like this crust. Yep. So, try every pizza you can get. That's my advice. <laughs> <laughs> I love pizza. I know a lot of people love pizza. I'm a pizza snob, I guess. I like it or I don't like it. But, it all depends on the crust. Like, I don't want it a gooey crust. I want a, something that's solid. Like this is solid. It's not fat, but it's solid. I, I can tell it's a crust. Even frozen pizza is pizza, right? Yeah, it's like frozen pizza tastes better than some places. Okay, I'm just saying. Like, I want to, like this. I want to taste bread. I don't want to taste grease. No, and, it's I think, good. and I think that's where it comes from. Like, a lot of the crust it's greasy to me. Like, it's just gross to me. Where I feel like I'm biting into a big old thing of grease. Whereas, this is good. It actually tastes like bread, like crust. That's what I like. Good, good thin crust. It's not super thin, but it's a good thin crust. To me, the crust is a vehicle for all the other stuff. The cheese, the, the sauce. The toppings, get some good toppings on there. You know, I'm not hung up on how the crust is, because I'm I'm more about what everything else tastes like. But overall, this is a good this is a good pie. My thing is that necessarily that I need to taste. Nope, just that. We so only got five minutes left, and then I'm out of like memory. <laughs> but. The pasta is good. It is a little salty, and I think that unless you become carnivore, you really don't. You don't recognize. You don't recognize salty. how much salt it is. To where, like, if you're making a pasta and you're like, "Oh, I'm gonna add this ham to it," you don't realize the pork is very salty. And if you add more salt to it, it just makes the whole dish really salty. Uh, I actually didn't recognize that until after I became carnivore and realized how much. Pork is so salty. Wow, pork is super salty. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter what form it is, if it's bacon, if it's ham, if it's uh, just the pork chop, everything. It all has a natural salt to it, probably because of the way that they prepare it, you know, and keep it fresh. So, anytime you're doing some kind of dish with pork, you want to use little salt or no salt, <laughs> depending on what cut. And I think that they don't realize that this. This piece of pork, pork is very fatty, and it's got a lot of salt in it. Alright, come on down to Tacoma, try it out with Salamones, let us know what you think. Bon appetit!